everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge! Here in our Random Pets Laboratory, where we are currently looking at a phoenix! Look at this beautiful bird! You guys have seen this gorgeous creature before, as we have introduced it as a hippogriff in the past, but I'm really hoping you can look past the extra set of legs in the back and the wagging tail, and you guys can appreciate the beauty of the new year and a new start with our our phoenix red today. I'm very excited because of the year 2020. I always get super, super excited about new starts and transitions into new kinds of eras. And what better creature to represent that than a fiery red phoenix who spends its life soaring the skies, trailing flames along their feathers. And then when they die, they actually turn into a pile of ashes and feathers from which their new life is born and from which the phoenix egg and then the little phoenix hatchling will come out. They're one of my favorite mythological creatures because they're just such beautiful symbols of rebirth and getting a chance to try things again. So what better way to celebrate the new year than letting our phoenix have a bunch of babies? That sounds amazing to me. And I'm also really excited because today we're actually going to do a little bit of an experiment with our fluffy red phoenix and we are going to allow it to have babies with multiple animals because that is the magic of the phoenix after all the magic of the new year you have so much new potential ahead of you new paths you could pick new goals you could choose and this particular phoenix is actually going to be watching over a whole bunch of different uh, animals and crossbreeding with a whole bunch of different types in order to hopefully produce some fiery red babies who will be able to carry on the wings and the beak and the claws that create a phoenix so that is going to be our goal today you guys we're going to come in we're actually going to let's see we're going to play with genetics in just a second here we're going to have unknown parents or we might even come over and like choose a breed but randomize it <gasps> like this would be a king charles spaniel cross oh gosh and then here would be a rhodesian ridgeback i had one of those as a, as a young child actually there here's an irish sutter a terrier a beagle a border collie in fact i think we might do this we might go ahead and randomize this direction uh because these look really freaking adorable oh my gosh look at that welsh springer spaniel phoenix crossbreed okay that would be really tempting to go ahead and just like randomize that way but we might also i don't know do we do we tend to get like just a mutt look I feel like you tend to get just kind of like a generic mutt look when you do unknown parent. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick from among the many, many animals out there. And we are going to try to pull their essence into the eggs that the phoenix is going to be creating, breathing a fire onto so that they can hatch and hopefully become symbols of new beginnings. I imagine when a phoenix flies over people and like flies over a town, maybe some of the like embers from their feathers actually help to imbue a sense of new beginnings and give people the resolution, the hope and the motivation to be able to achieve their dreams, to change habits that they really want to change, to go down new paths, to confront the things that have been holding them back and to see a new life. And now I should probably write a book about that Phoenix. So hmm, you heard the early draft here, friends. But all right, so let's go ahead and pull up your guys' names into the random common generator. And then we're gonna see you born as little phoenixes. We will grow you up. We're gonna breathe some fire on you. I'll show you what that means in just a second. We're going to grow you up. And then we're gonna see if any of these children will help the phoenix to inherit its powers and spread that sense of renewal and new beginnings through the world. So we'll start just by, by having the phoenix fly over and gather the essence from loyal dogs around the land, since somehow it's also related to dogs, why not? All right. And we're gonna go ahead and randomize the breeds because that seems to give us better results. Uh, and I'm just, I, I guess we'll randomize once for the first one, twice for the second one, and just go from there. So, one. <gasps> a poodle! We have an immediate poodle crossbreed, you guys! Oh my gosh, and it's already flame-colored. It already was born of fire. That is so freaking perfect. You guys! Yay! All right. 
So from the loyal essence of a mysterious poodle, a tiny little egg was created using the phoenix's magic. And as it breathed fire onto the egg, the egg hatched into a little fire puppy who is so cute and is actually going to be related to Janice from S. Janice J, who left an amazing dragon suggestion for a dragon lion cross. I am totally putting that on the list. If you guys have more like ideas for different animals we can crossbreed, leave them in the comments because I am totally going to be putting them on the list. I foresee so many more experiments coming up. I am feeling the spirit of excitement and adventure in the new year. All right, Janice, so you have hatched and you are already flame colored. Hopefully you'll grow up to inherit all three of the traits the Phoenix needs to inherit its legacy. And you are a troublemaker who is hairy and a sleuth, which I think is pretty darn hilarious. I imagine you try to get into the trash and dumpsters of people's houses and end up setting them on fire. Do be a little careful with that, Janice. But all right, so now we have little Janice. So let's go ahead and pull up the new name. Let's go ahead, a corgi and a zebra. Oh my gosh. Okay, that, that makes absolutely no sense to any of you guys. I have to, I have to, hang on. Corgi and zebra, that is just too cool. I'm putting that on the list too. Uh, but that is the suggestion that actually came from Tenlin. So Tenlin, thank you so much for your suggestion. And you offer up the name Willow to your little animal. So let's see who you're going to be. All right, one, this would be a Havanese. Two, a Chow Chow. Oh, so we're gonna have a little willow named Chow Chow, or a little, um, there we go. Phoenix, there, there we are. So this is going to be Willow, a Chow Chow Phoenix mix, which I think is hilarious, who is independent, jumpy, and a hunter. And Willow here does not happen to have fire in her spirit just yet, but the Phoenix has a magic touch for that. So what's gonna happen is every time we end up with puppies who don't have any flame coloring, the Phoenix is going to breathe fire onto them until we actually end up with the right colors. So we're going to keep randomizing one at a time on the colors that Willow is until we end up with another fire puppy. So, and that doesn't have to be like the actual reds. It just has to be colors that are like light. Like in the whites, we could go for oranges and yellows, uh, but these browns are a little bit too dull. So let's keep going. Pink is actually awful darn close. I could possibly accept pink, but we're thinking fire here. So let's keep going. Actually, grays would work too, wouldn't they? For like embers. So I think we may stick with some grays because this gray would be really good for ashes and embers. Oh, that's true. All right, but will we end up with any, oh, okay, that's brown. That's kind of like not, eh, I would say that's like mossy, mossy colors instead of gray. And then this color, is that red? Would I call that red? Not really, we're talking like fiery. Oh, but that's kind of like ashes. Ooh, I actually really like that. Okay, we'll go for the grays and we'll go for the like whites and the vibrant oranges and reds. So those are the colors we're looking for. Um, we might end up with a lot of gray puppies that way though. So, hmm. You know what? We need to have at least one spark of fire. So I'll go ahead and keep rolling one of them until we get a, a fire color. Which actually, would this be a fire color? That's kind of close. It's kind of brown though. Gosh, this is harder than I thought to create fire puppies. All right, let's, there we go. A nice orange. All right. I kind of liked it the way we had it with just the flames. Okay. All right, I promise to stop messing around with it now. This is the first time I've created like a flame puppy, okay? I, I, I probably am going to like, okay, yeah, I can see the colors now. All right, all right. Where was the good color we had? that really made it, it was kind of like this, wasn't it? Yeah, it kind of was. Was it this one? I think it was this one. I actually love that because it does look like the ashes of the Phoenix. All right, Willow, welcome. Thank you for your patience as we fin figured out how to make this magic. I think we will go with anything that's kind of like flame or ash colored. That works. All right, Willow, did we give you a personality? We did. You're jumpy, you're independent, you're a hunter. That's adorable. All right, thank you very much, Tinlin. And then let's go ahead and roll again. It should go a little faster now that we know what we're doing. You know, the Phoenix is learning how to use its magic. One, two, the third puppy. <gasps> a person Russell Terrier. Oh, 
So a phoenix and a parcel of Russell Terrier. I don't think we've ever had a parcel and Rus Russell Terrier end up as one of our crossbreeds. And this is actually going to be a little boy named Tortilla. <laughs> After Tortilla Tortoise. Tortilla tor uh, Tortoise. Tortilla Tortoise. Oh my gosh. There we go. So welcome, welcome to the family, my friend. You are a vocal glutton who is aggressive and you suggest a reindeer and a Yorkshire Terrier as a crossbreed. You guys have the best ideas, I just love it. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna randomize until we get to either the blacks, ooh, yellows, or let's see, that's kind of, that's kind of gray. I mean, I think that could kind of work. I really want to start seeing some of the reds. I think if we already have one black, should I keep going? What would happen if I hit it again? Then you just end up, there's so many grays. We're gonna end up with some gray puppies. But you know what, that's okay. This is actually amazing. <laughs> All right, Tortilla, welcome to the family. I love the idea of a reindeer and a Yorkshire Terrier. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and play with genetics again. Now I've, now I've got the feel of it. So this will be the fourth puppy. One, two, three, four. An Akita! So we're gonna do an Akita cross, and this is actually going to be Animal from Animal Queen. So welcome, Animal Queen. I'm pretty sure we've had a couple of you, your animals before. That seems very familiar. All right, you are going to be, can't produce milk, so I have to reroll, a vocal independent hairy puppy. And let's see what kind of flame, oh, there's so many colors to pick from. All right, I need to make a deal with myself. It either needs to be the pure grays or it needs to be the really bright colors, but no browns, so let's go. All right, that's not really, oh, yes, orange. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, this red color can kind of count, I think. What do, what do I think about these reds? Yeah, not really, they're on the brown line. Let's give it something, oh yeah, nice and orange. All right, bright oranges so far. If it's in like these two rows, then we'll keep it as long as it's the right color. All right, not pink, but I will keep black. Yeah, that'll do. And then, not white, I don't think, because that's not really fire colored, but this gray, mm, yeah, that gray will do. That's really kind of cute. We have a little orange pumpkin puppy <laughs> whose nose looks like it's been like kind of ruffling their nose in some ashes. All right, welcome, animal. Gosh, we have quite the diverse little group. I guess having the actual flame fire color was really, really lucky with Janice and may not be as common as we think it will for the Phoenix's offspring. This may take more than one litter. All right, let's go ahead and make the fifth puppy. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, a whiner whiner? I don't think we've ever used that dog either. This is so cool. And this is actually going to be Spirit. A name suggested by It's Shadows Studio. There we go. And Spirit is actually going to be friendly, a hunter, and a troublemaker. And I had to reroll because they can't produce wool. Even though they're a fluffy magic phoenix, no wool. All right, and this looks really similar to the uh, actual like Rhodesian Ridgeback mix we did. So let's see. Okay, is that flame color? No. All right, there we go. Nice orange. Then we've got some nice grays. That's a nice gray. Yeah, if it's in these two rows, I'll forgive it. All right, or the black. Yeah, the black's in that row. Whoops, nope, that was the right color. And then do we have any? Come on, come on, red. We need that fire. Oh, yellow! Okay, we ended up with yellow somewhere on this puppy and and purple eyes. This is definitely, spirit, you look like a little bit of a Halloween spirit, to be honest. All right, this is proving to be harder than I thought. Maybe I should keep going until every one of the puppies has at least a little bit of fire in them. That would make some sense. Uh, let's see. All right, and then let's go ahead. Oh, if only we could get these fire cup, little puppies. All right. This is what I get for trying to do magic. One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth puppy. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> yes! A toy box terrier! Oh my gosh, I don't even know what this one's going to look like. But this is actually Foxy the dragon. So this is Foxy. 
You have been reborn as a phoenix in our Random Pets Laboratory. You are a hunter who is a troublemaker and independent. I love that. And she's already the precious red colors that we needed. So this is really fun. Uh, I guess like the fl flame power would be stronger, but I guess if they just end up having the beak, the wings, and the claws, that would be good enough. Or maybe they can all help? I'm not sure. I've never really messed with this kind of magic before. All right, let's go ahead and do the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, seventh and final baby. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Four, five, six, seven. <gasps> yes, a blue tycoon hound. Holy cow, we've got the fire again. All right, and ironically, this is going to be icy from icy wolf icy you have been reborn as a fire phoenix that is so hilarious what irony all right you're adventurous independent and playful so there we go guys i really do need to work on figuring out how i want to do the flames i think i would go back and i would say to hit random until we end up with like red next time but this was the phoenix's first litter and we're going to figure out how all the babies will grow up so let's do this Janice, looking great, Janice. Let's see what you happen to inherit. Uh, unfortunately, not the beak, but I wonder, should we just do the beak on everybody? Should everybody just have the, you know what? I feel like the Phoenix has a bunch of great children that have these special abilities. Let's see, beak, but I should probably go ahead and roll. Where'd the wings go? The big wings, not the dragon wings, as amazingly epic as that would be. We need, oh, these wings, haha. -ha. All right, there we are. So Janice actually inherited the wings and the paws, but she did not inherit the beak, but this is what she would look like if she did have the beak, which is pretty awesome. I feel like, should I just give it to all of them and just raise like a whole family of crossbreed phoenixes? You know what, let's do it. Normally I, I like restrict them, but I think this will be fun. <gasps> Willow. <laughs> okay guys, this will be fun. <laughs> Look at Willow's face. <laughs> oh, I can't pass up this opportunity. There's enough magic in these dogs to go around. This is hilarious. <laughs> Willow, the little ash, uh, little ash pup uh, is extremely fluffy. Oh, this is amazing. Willow looks like a pigeon! <laughs> okay, this is one of the best things we have ever created. Yeah, forget rolling on these. Everybody gets the beaks and wings, just because we have to see how it turns out. This is too cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do the beak. I wonder what color beak, maybe this color beak will do. And then let's come down, let's add on those wings. Very nice, very nice. And then let's add on those paws. Excellent. I should take a moment. We'll, we'll go through and we'll admire everybody in just a second. Animal, we're going to grow you up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, looking awesome. Looking awesome. Like a little pumpkin spirit, if you ask me. But what happens if we toss oh, on oh. a beak and then we throw on those wings? Oh, oh. Let's see. Is there an orange? Yes. Oh, Kalino did such a great job on these. Oh, animal, you look so cool. All right. What about this one? Oh. My. Gosh. <laughs> this is what your Toy Fox Terrier Cross would look like. Oh, I am so glad that we are, like, adding all of the features onto every one of these animals. This, 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 look at this animal. What the heck? Even has a dragon tail that it just got itself. Oh, spirit. You look like a spirit, all right. Meanwhile, Foxy Phoenix. <gasps> It's a tiny one. I don't know if we can give you anything, Foxy Phoenix. Oh, 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 yes, tiny Phoenix. When did the tiny Phoenix thing make it possible? Oh, then I'm so happy. Okay, we'll have to just work with what we have. We have tiny little hooves we can give him instead of claws. And we don't have big wings, but we have little batty wings. <laughs> and that's what Foxy Phoenix can look like. Oh my gosh. Finally, let's go ahead and have Icy grow up. Icy's also trying to sneak that dragon tail in there just because. Oh, I'll, I'll allow that. That seems kind of cool. And Icy also 
we'll go ahead and just grow up with everything. Forget rolling on these guys. I want to see what they look like with everything. And I think that their phoenix parent has enough magic to make it happen. Oh, this is amazing. You guys, I loved this. Check Janice out. Janice is awesome. I think my favorite is hands down Willow. I'm so glad that we kind of went with a mix of colors. Willow is a gigantic pigeon dog. I had no idea I wanted everything about this, but I did. Like, this is amazing. This is amazing. She is my favorite I think I have ever made. We have Tortilla who looks amazing. We've got Animal. We've got Spirit who is just like, what? We have Tiny Little Foxy and then we have Icy. Oh, you guys, this was fantastic. All right, well, what a way to start the new year and kick off all of our random pets genetics challenges here in the laboratory. I was not expecting those, but now we worked out the way to do magic, and I kind of feel like having another litter of Fire Phoenix puppies. So, thank you guys for joining me. Leave your suggestions for future experiments down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye